Hey, what's up, YouTubers, and welcome back to another Toddy Walnuts update video. This one has been a long time coming. I think it's probably been over a month since I've done an update video. Maybe a month and a half. I got the ladies here trying to get into chill mode. I got a couple of candles lit over here. I got a candle lit over here by Chucky. I got this new drink I've been trying out. I don't really... I don't really care much for this. I don't recommend this. Bay or ball. It's just not. It, it didn't do the trick for me. It's not very good. But it only has 10 calories. So I I don't recommend it. <clears throat> There's my my little peepers, my readers. Okay, where do we start? So, um... This update video is going to be very heavy on the Rare Horror DVDs. This whole stack here is all new pickups. They're all DVDs. They're all pretty rare. And when I say rare, I don't mean that they're necessarily valuable. But they're harder to find. Some of these will probably never get a Blu-ray release. Some pretty good titles in there. Some of them are pretty hard to find. I got uh, some new stuff from Arrow Video. I got a couple of VHS tapes and clamshells from SRS Cinema. I got a, a new box set from Severin. We'll go through that. And I got a little stack of kind of miscellaneous stuff here that we're going to go through first, actually. And I have some kind of old-time favorites from like the 70s from my childhood i'll go through that and i have a really cool record from river city rebels here and i'll talk about that in this video this is really cool so get yourselves relaxed get a beverage get a snack kick your feet up light a candle Grab your dog. Let your dog watch, too. Your dog deserves to watch a Todd E. Walnuts update video. They will thank you for that. They will probably wag their tail. All right. No more foolishness. Let's get into the update video here. You can see a lot of dust flying around in here. What's going on, man? What in the hell is going on around here? Okay, so we'll start with this little miscellaneous pile. And the first item is something you guys probably don't know about at all. This is a local radio station that I've been listening to since 1989. And this is the Bob and Brian show. They're the morning show here in Wisconsin and out of Milwaukee. Um, they started out on 102.9. Laser 103, they called it back then. Uh, they have since changed the name to 102.9 The Hog. Uh, these guys are great. They're, they're really funny. There's uh, a lot of political bits. There's humor. There's sports. There's um, uh, national topics, local topics. I've been listening to these guys for a long, long time. I have every CD that they ever released. and I, Maybe I'll show a video of that someday. I, I don't know if you guys would be interested in that since this is a local to my area thing, but if you'd like to see it, let me know. I'd, I'd pop that in and make a quick video about that. This one is called Crash Test Polka. There's the, let me see here if I can kind of zoom in here so you can see what their logo looks like. Bob and Brian in the morning. They have a great cast. They have a, a news lady named Carrie Went. She's been part of the show for a long, long time. Their producer, his name is Eric Jensen. He's also the um, he's the voice of the Milwaukee Bucks. He's the, uh, I guess, the announcer. And uh, I've been following his career for a long time. I used to listen to him when he was on 93.3 WQFM back in the day. That station no longer exists. He's been with uh, Bob and Brian for many, many years, at least a couple decades now. 
uh, just a really fun radio show that I like to listen to in the morning. <clears throat> Next one, if you watched my latest Code Red collection overview video, I gave you a little sneak peek of this, but this is a new release or a new pickup for me over the past month, and this is the Puffin Stuff movie. And I I have the Puffin Stuff television show, the complete series on DVD. And uh, this is the Blu-ray of the movie, which I still haven't watched yet, but I'm glad to have this. So this was put out with um, Code Red and Kino Lorber, who those were the Olsen twins, or the, not the Olsen, <laughs> Olsen twins, the Olsen brothers, uh, William and Walter Olsen. And it uh, looks like it was also um, Universal that owned this at one time, I believe. I think they leased out the rights to this. So it's just pretty much a, uh, a bare bones release of the movie. But I'm really glad to have this. And of course, this was from the minds of the Croft brothers, Sid and Marty Croft. So really glad to have that. And this is big time uh, 70s. This came out in 1970. And I believe the television show ran for a couple of years in the late 60s. But this definitely has that... 60s early 70s kind of hippie vibe the vibrant colors and all that stuff it's like a time capsule here in uh, blu-ray form the next one was a pickup i've been kind of looking for some sword and sorcery fantasy type movies and i've, I've seen a couple of these in the past these are the dragon heart movies this is the whole five movie collection in one little set here and you get all of the originals, you get Dragonheart, and then part two is A New Beginning. Part three was A Sorcerer's Curse. Part four was Battle for the Heartfire, and part five was Vengeance. And there's some pretty big name actors in here. I know um, Patrick Stewart is in one. Sean Connery was in uh, at least one that I know of. Uh, Dennis Quaid, Helena Bonham, Bonham Carter. Um, ben Kingsley. There's some really good actors in here, and these are... Uh, I'm not going to give away the... Uh, actually, if, if you guys want the digital code, go for it. I don't care. I don't use these. So that's the digital code for the five-movie collection on Blu-ray. I really don't care. You're welcome. But these all come on their own disc, which is really nice. And I think this was only... It's somewhere between 15 and 20 bucks, I believe, which is a, to me is a steal for four movies on Blu-ray. So I'm really glad to have this and add this to the uh, Sword and Sorcery Fantasy Collection. The next one is a Chinese bootleg of the Lord of the Rings, the Rings of Power. Uh, I've had people ask me on my channel, how can you tell if it's a Chinese bootleg? There's a couple of telltale signs. Um, first and foremost, you can tell anytime you see Chinese writing on it. I'm not trying to be funny. Um, I think there are, are some people here who, are, who really do get confused by this stuff. Um, you can tell there on the back. And if you look close at the slipcover, you can see it has a, a different weird texture. All of the Chinese bootlegs that I've ever seen have this exact pattern on their slipcovers. They've been putting out a lot of slipcovers lately. Um, number three, this never had a, an official release yet on Blu-ray. I don't know if, I'm sure it will. I mean, this is a money maker, but it doesn't, to this point, it doesn't have an official release. Um, and there was one other point I was going to make about it, but I mean, you know, it, this is not a bad little bootleg. As soon as this gets an official release, I'm getting rid of this. I'll probably just donate it to Goodwill or something and I'll buy the original, but they don't have an original yet. I haven't watched this yet. I've heard kind of mixed reviews. I, I'm going into it kind of guarded. You know, I don't really expect a whole lot out of it. Um... I mean, even some of my, my good friends who are huge into the Lord of the Rings realm and the, the Middle Earth and all that stuff, and, you know, they love all the movies. They seemed like they were pretty disappointed with this. 
but I'm still going to go into this with the idea of having fun with it. You can see there that it just it doesn't really have the that official look. You know, you can tell that this is not an official release. But again, I think I paid maybe 15 bucks for this. You can buy these on eBay. There's a couple different sellers on there. And uh, for for me, for 15 bucks with this little slip cover, it kind of has this gate fold here. I think that's a pretty good deal, you know, and uh, it's a good way for me to catch up on the series because I haven't watched any of them yet. And I am a big fan of the Lord of the Rings and Middle Earth and all that stuff. I'll put that cover on in a little bit. I picked up a Scream Factory Blu-ray that I was missing. Um, I'm missing quite a few, but this was one I definitely wanted to get. This is called Stung, the Ultimate Buzzkill, and this is a, you know, a critter, a, a creature feature, killer insect movie about uh, killer wasps. And uh, this was a Scream Factory release that was put out by IFC Midnight, and the movie came out in 2015. And this was in widescreen. I have I've never seen this movie before. It it looks like it's you know low budget fun kind of a drive-in style movie. And I'm looking forward to checking this out. I don't know if this has a reversible cover. I bought it used, gently used on eBay. And there's the. That's pretty cool. I like that uh, unique artwork there on the disc. And it looks like that is also the reverse cover, which I will flip that because you really don't need to have the same artwork on both the slip cover and the insert there. So I will flip that to the other artwork. Give me one second. So there, that's what it looks like when it's flipped. Looks really good. You know, not expecting a whole lot out of this, but I, I think this would be pretty fun. And that was Stung, the ultimate buzz kill. Uh, the next one I got was I purchased the slip box for Freeway and Freeway 2 from Vinegar Syndrome. So I had these two releases previously. This is uh, the first one, Freeway with uh, Kiefer Sutherland and Reese Witherspoon. I still haven't watched these yet, but these come highly recommended by viewers of the channel. People have recommended this to me. And then part two is called Confessions of a Trick Baby. I don't know anything about this one. So I own these already, and apparently, and this kind of flew under my radar, I didn't realize that uh, Vinegar Syndrome was had released a <clears throat> slip box for these two. If you ordered them previously, then you can buy the, the slip box to put them together and have a nice little box set, which is a great idea. I'll put those in in a minute, but I just want to kind of look here at the artwork. These Vinegar Syndrome slip covers and slip boxes are, are beautiful. They're excellent, very high quality. And uh, anytime I can get these in a box set, um, I missed out on the the Angel box set. Maybe I'll track that down at some point. But there you can see how the they fit in there perfectly in their slip covers in that box. <clears throat> so I was glad to pick this up. I think the box itself was only like ten or fifteen bucks, something like that. It was pretty cheap. I don't know if they still have them available. But for me, this was a no-brainer. I had to grab that to put the uh, the whole collection together. Uh, I do have another 4K in this pile, but I'm going to put it off to the side because that's going to kind of go with my Conan movies. Um, going to pause it here. I got to take a drink. My throat's a little dry, and then we'll get into a Severin box set that I just picked up. Okay, so the next box set that I picked up is the Danza. Macabre Volume 2, the Italian Gothic Collection. This one I owned previously. This was Volume 1. These are both put out by Severin Films, which is another excellent company. This is a company I need to really spend more money at. And I know they come highly recommended, especially by my boy Hector. Hector, if you're watching, shout out to you. I know Hector loves Severin, and he always recommends stuff from Severin. And 
rightfully so. I mean, Severin puts out some excellent stuff. I'm, I'm going to open both of these boxes up and show you guys what come in these boxes. Even though I did an unboxing of this before previously, I'm going to kind of show them together again. <clears throat> but before we get into Volume 1, I'm going to open up Volume 2. Now, something I noticed, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, but Volume 1 was Blu-ray. And two of the movies, I think there's four movies in the set. Two of the movies are locked to Region A, and two of them are Region Free. We'll get more into that in a second. So these are Blu-ray. Now this one, <clears throat> I don't know if they had two different editions of this, or they were all. But now this one is um, 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray and Blu-ray. And this one has... Uh, is this another four movie set? I believe it is. One, two, three. Looks like there's five movies in this set. Um, and four of them are region A locked. And one of them is region free. And we'll get more into that too as I get into the box. I'll let you know which one's region free. But I have to take the plastic off. So I think I'm going to pause it here for a minute so you guys don't have to watch me fight this with one hand. I'll be right back. Okay, everybody's still here and accounted for. Everybody, we're chilling, we're chilling. So this is what the box looks like, and this is a beautiful, high-quality box. I mean, this is right up there with Vinegar Syndrome, Aero Video, Criterion. I mean, this is, this is quality right here. So that's what the little top portion of the box looks like. It looks like you get, um, okay, so I was wrong. You get three three classic movies and one landmark miniseries, Rediscovered, Restored, and Reclaimed. That is cool. I haven't watched any unboxings of this, obviously, so I'm a little bit out of the loop on this one. But this is another series that I hope they keep going, like just like Vinegar Syndrome's Forgotten Gialli and... Uh, <clears throat> Indicator has the the hammer box sets and, and uh, the Harry House and stuff. I try to grab all those when I can. But uh, yeah, this, so this is the top of the box. Really nice little design on there. Very creepy. Little skull and like a, I don't know, a pool of potion or blood or some kind of a cauldron. I don't know what that is. And then you have the victim maybe this is an eight disc set wow you get castle of blood jekyll i believe jekyll is the one that's region free the others are region a they have changed their face the devil's lover and there's a little bit of write-ups here on the back i'm not going to read that but if you guys want to pause that and read it feel free to pause it now We'll put the box off to the side. Really nice. Really, really nice. And just like the first set, these come in a black case as well. But this one does have the 4K Ultra HD logo on the top. I want to also point out, too, that I bought this set on Amazon. And I ordered it like two days ago. It came today. I think I, I only paid... Don't quote me on this because you're going to be able to easily fact check me by going to Amazon. But I do recommend you go to Amazon if you want this. It was either $80 with free shipping. Well, I have Prime. So it was it was either $80 with free shipping or $90 with free shipping. I can't remember. But if you look this up on eBay, it's going for like $140. So if I were you guys and if you're on the fence about this and you're kind of unsure... Maybe watch this video. If you see what you like, go over to Amazon and grab it for 80 or 90 whatever it was. So this is the cover for Castle of Blood. Wow, this is going to be awesome. Severin is really doing some great things. I'm going to have to start putting some money aside and grabbing. At this point in the game, I've, I've missed out on quite a bit of their stuff. I do have some nice, you know, some of the signed things that they released early. I have some of the limited items that they released, but there was a point in between where I, I was getting like all Scream Factory and 
aero stuff and I was kind of neglecting this company but I have to get back into the, the swing of things with this one but so here on the left is the blu-ray which is the feature film and extras and then here on the right it says blu-ray is there a third disc? As I thought it said 4K, but I'm, I'm not seeing here on the disc where it says 4K. Just Blu-ray. Hold on a second here. Movie from 1964. I have this on. Oh, there we go. It was a, there was a third disc on a swing tray. Here's the 4K. And look at that disc art. Is that Babs Steel? Is that Barbara Steel? make the printing so small at the bottom down there. I don't I don't know if that's Barbara Steele. It looks like her. It is Barbara Steele, right? The legendary right there. The legendary Barbara Steele. Right there. That's Barbara Steele right there. That is a great cover. That's cool. Really glad to have this set. The next one is Jekyll. That almost looked like Lee Majors at first, but it's not. Uh, this one came out in 1969. You can watch it in Italian language with English subtitles if you choose. 262 minutes running time. This must be the, this is the mini series that they were talking about. Uh, the North American premiere of the landmark RAI or RAI TV mini series. I, I don't know anything about this, but I'm very intrigued and I, I'm looking forward to watching this. There's the two discs. These are, these are Blu-ray. I don't know if, I don't think there's a third disc in this one. So these are on Blu-ray, which, which is fine by me. The next one is called, They Have Changed Their Face. Look at that old cover. The old painted covers like that, these are gorgeous. This one came out in 1971. It's also in Italian language with English subtitles. It says this is the North American high definition premiere and it has six plus hours of special features. Wow. You get some audio commentary and interviews, short films. Man, this thing is jam packed with goodies. This is a one disker and this is a blu-ray so it looks like maybe the there's only one 4k in here so far and i believe that to be the case because this one doesn't have 4k on the top either this one's called the devil's lover and this one came out in 1972 and this one is the north american high definition premiere plus you get a bonus soundtrack cd that is amazing i love these releases that come with the cd soundtrack severin has been known to do that and they do a great job doing it here it is right here it's the cd soundtrack that's pretty rare so grab this set before it goes out of print and then you're going to want to you're going to want to buy it eventually anyway and Instead of paying $300 for it, just grab it now for 80 or 90 bucks. So this is the, the haul here for the Danza Macabre Volume 2. So you do get uh, Castle of Blood in 4K. And then the rest of these are in Blu-ray. You get The Devil's Lover. 
they have changed their face and Jekyll. I'm gonna pause it here for a moment, put these away, and then I'm gonna quickly just kind of rehash the uh, volume one so you can see what's in there, and then we'll move on. So here is volume one of Danza Macabra, the Italian Gothic collection. I'm sure many of you, maybe most of you already own this. Maybe some of you remember me unboxing this. I just want to quickly go over it again. I, I do pick up new subscribers from time to time and maybe some people didn't see that, but this is a four movie set. You get the Monster of the Opera, the Seventh Grave, Scream of the Demon Lover and Lady Frankenstein. And if you want to pause that, let me see if I can get in here and get you a clear shot of that. Go ahead and pause that now and read it. And again, these, these boxes are really nice, very high quality, and they look beautiful on the shelves together. So just really quick here, I'm not going to open everything up, but uh, this is Lady Frankenstein. <clears throat> this movie's from 1971. You can watch this in English or Italian language, and you can watch it with English subtitles if you choose to. You get Scream of the Demon Lover. This was a movie from 1970. It is in English and Italian. I don't think this one has subtitles. At least it wasn't listed on the back. This set was awesome. The Monster of the Opera. Look at these covers, man. And this one is from 1964. It is in Italian language with English subtitles. And The Seventh Grave. Look at that cover. It's these little things like that that really impress me. Movie from 1965. It is in Italian language with optional English subtitles. So there you go. These are the four from volume one. If you haven't grabbed it, I don't know if this is out of print or sold out. I, I really don't keep up with that. Um, but you may want to check, you know, look around a little bit, see if they have this on the Severin site. If it's sold out, look on eBay. But that's uh, volume one. Recommended. All right, the gang is all here. So we're going to jump into some VHS here. These were from Sub Rosa Studios, or SRS Cinema, as they're calling themselves. Both of these are Japanese, I guess, uh, horror movies. This is called The Whale God. While I, I'm, I'm completely against any of this kind of stuff, you know, in real life, as far as, like, uh, uh, slaughtering whales and all that stuff... I basically just wanted to pick this up for the collectability of it. <clears throat> I like to support SRS Cinema. I really like Ron Bonk. He's a great guy. He's the owner and proprietor and film director, and uh, he, he, he does really, really good stuff. So this was limited to 50. Let's see here if we can get in. I got number 15 out of 50. And this is an old Japanese movie from 1962. It is in Japanese language, but they have... I believe they have forced English subtitles, which means uh, they pop up automatically. There's no turning them on and off, I believe. I don't think you can do that on VHS. So I think they're, that, that's what they call forced subtitles. So you, you do have to watch it with the Japanese language, but you can read along as you watch. And it says that uh, a small Japanese village is obsessed with killing a monstrous whale. But uh, these... These VHS releases are excellent. They're really, really awesome. I had this thing pre-ordered. Both of these I had pre-ordered for probably six months. It took a long time for these to come out. But they're well worth the wait. I mean, these things are, are gorgeous. There's the SRS Sub Rosa Studios, or SRS Cinema, as they've been calling themselves lately. Uh, that's the logo there. And then there's another... Japanese movie here called The Great Yokai War Guardians. And I also had this one pre-ordered for probably maybe five or six months. Out of, let's see here. 
out of 50, I got number 10. I'm pretty sure these are sold out by now. Um, they may have one or two left. So if you want to go over to uh, SRS Cinema website, uh, you'll be able to find it if, if they still have it. You can also get this on Blu-ray, which I probably will get these on Blu-ray at some point. I just wanted to grab the VHS before they sold out. So that's the, uh, the two latest VHS titles that I picked up. Glad to have those. Uh, so now we're going to get into my Aero video pickups. And I only have a couple, but one of them... Uh, well, let's see. We'll start with this one. So this one's sold out. <clears throat> this is the Conan Chronicles. You get Conan the Barbarian and Conan the Destroyer. This is the 4K release of it. I actually have two of these. And I think these were selling for like 30 bucks. And when they sold out, I think now they're going around 100 bucks or more. I'm not sure. But I'm not going to sell it for 100 bucks. I'm not even going to sell it for 50 bucks. I'm not even going to sell it for 30 bucks. That's what I paid for it. I'm not even going to sell this for 20 bucks. You know why? Because this is going to be a freebie. This is going to be part of my 10,000 subscribers giveaway. This is just going to be one of the prizes. One of these is, is mine, obviously. And that's this is how I'm going to watch it out of this box set here. But one of them is going to remain sealed and will go to a new home free of charge. I will even pay to ship it to you. Stay tuned for that. I'm, I'm starting to put some, some prizes together. There's going to be, I'm thinking about having five winners. Five people will have a chance to win. Uh, it's not all going to be this, though. This is just going to be one of the five. I do have some other things in mind already. Uh, stay tuned for that. I'll give more details as they come. I'll put that off to the side. Um, but I'm really looking forward to, to checking these out. Uh, so you get a book. I believe you get a poster. And you get both of the movies on 4K. So this is the 4K edition of it. I also, because I, I really liked the way that the single editions looked, I picked up the these movies on Blu-ray. I didn't need I don't really need these on 4K. I think I bought these for $24 a piece on, on uh, Amazon. They come in these nice, beautiful sets. I'm gonna open these up in this video. Um, but you get Conan the Barbarian. You get exactly the same things in this set that you do in the 4K, but the 4K sold out, and those are going for about $100 a piece, I believe, as well. I'm just more than happy with these for $24. Bucks. Um, and then you get uh, Conan the Destroyer. You get the movie and a book. We will definitely go through these in a minute here. Just give me some time. And I also picked up Red Sonja, which is unofficially Conan Part 3. The story behind this movie is they didn't have the rights to use the Conan character for the third movie. So they call Arnold's character, I believe it's Kalidor, if I remember. Was it Kalidor? So this is not an official Conan Part 3, but to me, I, I consider this Conan 3, starring Brigitte Nielsen as Red Sonja. Um, this is a great movie. I picked this up on, I think it was, I think I picked this up on Amazon too. This is from Studio Canal. This is a uh, region B, but this is also a 4K. So you get, hold on a second. You get 4K and Blu-ray in here and I'll pop this open and we'll take a look at this too. I, I'm really hoping that they have a reversible cover for this um, so I can get rid of these ratings logos. Uh, I watched another YouTuber unbox this. I think this one came out about a year or two ago. And I was a little bit late to this one. This I think this one originally came with a slipcover, the guy I was watching on uh, on YouTube. Um, I just, I don't like these ratings logos. I think they're, they're terrible. They really, they're really an eyesore and they take away from the beauty of of a cover like that with just these all of a sudden there's and they got two of them i mean what 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 is that i don't know it makes no sense but i'm gonna pause it here we're gonna take the cellophane off of this and we'll go through both of these 
and we'll take a look at it and then we'll, we'll keep moving. I don't want to make this like a two hour video, but I still want to show you guys what, you know, what this uh, comes with here. So give me one minute. Okay, so I guess we'll start with uh, Conan Part 3, Red Sonja. Um, <clears throat> unfortunately, it does not have reversible arts. It's just a blank page or a blank uh, sheet there on the inside. And it has the 4K disc. And then it has the Blu-ray disc. I believe the Blu-ray disc is Region B. So let me see if I can verify that. I'm looking forward to popping these in and checking them out. I'll be honest, it's, it's been a couple of years since I've watched these. I've seen these movies probably 10 times a piece. But it's, I've, it's been over 10 years since I've seen any of them. So it looks like the standard Blu-ray is Region B. Oh, jeez, man, this thing is... There, we, you got it. Uh, so the 4K is Region A, B, C, and the Blu-ray is Region B. I don't understand why they have to have two ratings logos. If anybody knows why, comment, let me know. I mean, if you're going to put two, why stop at two? Why not just put a whole bunch of them all the way across? Make like a, a the color of the rainbow or something. I don't know why... It makes no sense to me why you have all those ratings logos. Um, but I'm definitely looking forward to checking this out. I bet you it looks beautiful on 4K. A little bit late to the party on this, but I got it now, so that's all that matters. So we will start with Conan the Barbarian. I take these, I take the J cards off. I don't keep these anymore. I put these in the recycling bin, so there's, there's really no need for me to keep those at all anymore. Uh, it looks way better without... To me, if you, if you have these on your shelf, it looks better without the J-card. Only my opinion, so um, do what you feel is best for you. But uh, here's uh, the outer shell is really nice, high quality. They could have put a little bit of some graphics here on the back. It seems like kind of a wasted opportunity, especially with a movie like this with so much to look at in the movie. Let's take a look here at this. That is an iconic cover. That is is beautiful and there's uh sandal bergen i believe her name is and of course arnie um what a great cast of characters and great movie here's what the amore case looks like my goodness so this is the limited edition blu-ray you get uh, brand new 4k restorations of the films uh, disc one is the feature film. Let me see if I can get that, that glare off of there. And just look at all these bonus features that's on disc two. That is unbelievable. If I'm going to try to get in as close as I can in case you guys want to pause that and read that. That is unbelievable. These are region A. And on the inside, we have a swing tray. Disc two is the extras, two Blu-ray set. And so on the inside, it's not a reversible cover, but it does show kind of a panoramic view of Conan. Let me see if I can open this up without creasing it. That is a great image. Really, really nice. And this one comes with some art cards. Put those off to the side just for a second. Uh, you also get, I know they've been kind of shilling this, um, their stream service. And I, I don't know how to feel about that. I mean, I love Arrow, but I think eventually Everything's going to be streaming. There's a, uh, a really nice kind of an advertisement for Weird Science, which was a great mid-80s classic. I, I love that movie. Bill Paxton was in there. Anthony Michael Hall. Kelly LeBrock. I, I watched this movie probably 25 to 30 times in my childhood. So... We have a poster, we have a thick book, but right now we're going to go through these art cards. 
I may have to break this video into two pieces because I don't really want to go much longer than like an hour. Um, so there's there's uh, one art card. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit closer. Do they all have they all have the same image on the back so I'm not gonna have to keep flipping them very interesting the uh, images they chose to use that's a, that's a good image right there I would have liked to see a little more of Sandal Bergen was that her last name Bergen let me see Bergman B-E-R-G-M-A-N, not Bergen, Bergman, Sandal Bergman. Uh, she was, she was gorgeous. I thought she was better than uh, Brigitte Nielsen. Uh, going to pause it really quick, put these art cards back, and I'll unfold that poster. Okay, so it's a two-sided poster on a very thick stock paper and the other side has that classic image thief warrior gladiator king all right so we'll get into the book here a little bit i don't want to spend too much time and i'm sure most of you guys already picked this up or you have seen there's probably countless unboxings of this of which I have not seen yet but I'm sure there are several um, what is it about a 75 page book 70 something really nice though in true arrow fashion they give you everything that you could want in a box set I mean they give you a poster they give you reversible art or in this case not reversible but you at least get a kind of a panoramic view on the interior. You get a nice book with any, everything that you'd need. They give you a separate disc jam-packed full of bonus features. Everything that you would need as an Arnold fan, as a Conan fan, um, highly recommended. Probably the best $24 I've spent in a long, long time. Conan the Barbarian on Blu-ray. So now we're going to get into... Part 2, Conan the Destroyer. The most powerful legend of all is back in a new adventure. This is the one that has Grace Jones and uh, Wilt the Stilt, Wilt Chamberlain. Again, another wasted opportunity on the back. I feel like they could have put something on the back. Just a tiny, minor gripe. And that's not even really a gripe. That's just... I mean, they could have put something on the back there. but So again, you get a poster and a book. We'll go through those last. This one here is the Amore case. We'll look on the back. Again, you get this huge portion, a whole Blu-ray full of just bonus materials. You get the 4K transfer of the movie. Um, let's see. 103 minutes running time. I forgot this was only rated PG. What was the first one rated? Was that also PG? I know this was before PG-13. First one is rated R. Okay, that makes sense. I, I thought this was more than PG myself, but I guess not. Apparently it says PG right on the back. And you can watch it with subtitles if you want to. So you get the disc, and you get another image that's sprawled across the back. We'll pull those out. You get more. Oops, I think I just broke it. I think I just broke part of the case here. This little flipper part came off. Um, not a big deal. Uh, I'm not happy about it, but I mean, it's not the end of the world. Um, I guess that's what happens when you kind of put all that extra stuff in there on that. It probably didn't help that I 
slid them off kind of it wasn't really forcefully i guess i could have probably taken more time don't know what this one is iberia films presents oh astrano mundo de i, I don't know what that is and then they have their um they're pitching their streaming service i don't like to see that and then you get your cast of characters here take a closer look Ugh, Grace Jones is disgusting. I don't know if that's Grace Jones or Wesley Snipes, but she's nasty. Never cared much for Grace Jones. That's a spooky-ass woman. So here we have some images. You know, Arnold is, I think he just turned 80, and he's he still works out daily in California and he's still I mean he's in fantastic shape I'm not even gonna say he's in good shape for an 80 year old he's just in good shape period I thought there was nudity there for a second. I don't know what that is. It looks like a a red star tattoo on her jug. Eesh. So those were the art cards. I'm going to pause it and we'll stretch the poster out and go through the book. Another beautiful two-sided poster. Classic. That that's really nice. And then the opposite side is our hero. Really nice. Very, very cool. Glad to have that. And then the book looks like it's another probably 75 pager. Really nice high quality photos. everything that you would want or need in a box set. I'm obviously, obviously going to recommend this. Um, I mean, because I bought it, so why wouldn't I recommend it? But if you're a, a, an 80s child and you grew up watching these on VHS or at the big screen or both, um, grew up reading the comic books, you need to get these in your collection, especially at $24. They're giving you, in my opinion, like 50 or $60 worth of value in this box set. And the thing is, when this does sell out, it probably will go for 60, 70, 80 bucks, maybe even 100 bucks. So grab these now while you can. I'm gonna pause it and then we'll take a look at them side by side and we'll get into some of these DVDs. Okay, so over the past, month or so longer probably last couple months i've been going back and knocking stuff off my wish list and i've been wanting to pick up a lot of these kind of rare uh, obscure dvd titles uh, i want to grab them now while they're still pretty low in price so the majority of these were anywhere between like five bucks and 10 at the most maybe like 12 ish um most of these are new the ones i paid a little bit more for i will i'll tell you when i come across them but for the majority of these these are pretty cheap but they're pretty rare too at the same time uh, the first one is called freeze it's not just the frost that bites so this may this part right here may be boring to some people, but I think a lot of you guys will kind of enjoy this just to see these different movies that you may not have heard of before. So this is a movie that came out in 2022. And as physical media is dying at a record pace before our eyes, I want to try to capture as many of these as I can. I think some of these are available to stream, but I doubt many of these uh, 
probably most of these will not get a Blu-ray release. So I'm just going to kind of keep moving. I got, I got quite a bit of them to show. This one is from Sub Rosa Studios or SRS Cinema. This is called Chicken's Blood. This is a Donald Farmer movie. I, I enjoy his movies. I have quite a bit of his movies. He's a an independent film director, and he does a lot of shot-on-video movies. And uh, this was also put out by MVD Visual. I think this also has a, a very limited Blu-ray release that you can get from SRS Cinema website, but it may be sold out. So I think that's why you can get it on DVD only now. The next one's called Battle Dogs, and this was a sci-fi original movie. I know um, a lot of the sci-fi original movies were pretty bad, but I still find enjoyment in some of those movies. And, you know, you see some of the the actors that play in these. Um, actually, this one has a pretty good cast. You have uh, Dennis Haysbert, uh, Ernie Hudson, and Bill Duke. Um, you may remember Dennis Haysbert right there. You see him. Wasn't he like... Uh, he was like uh, pitching insurance, I think. Wasn't he one of the insurance uh, spokesmen? I don't know, whatever. But uh, this is from a company called The Asylum, and they've, they've been known to, I guess, release a lot of these very low-budget movies. But uh, I've heard of this movie before, and I've heard other people talk about it. And, of course, it's not going to be anywhere near like dog soldiers or anything like that, but I think it's kind of in that same vein and uh, I just I wanted to grab this and this was a, a cheapy glad to have it next one's called monster dog this one has Alice Cooper in it right there this one does have a blu-ray release but I wanted to pick it up on DVD I'm gonna be adding a lot of DVDs to my collection lately uh, in the next coming months. So you can see some of the, the very low budget. Uh, but I do like that it's practical effects and not uh, CGI. This is the unrated edition. This was put out by Kino. I'm pretty sure Kino also put the Blu-ray out for this. I know it does have a Blu-ray release. Uh, let's see, when did this one come out? 1985. This was right around the time that Alice Cooper dropped. A, my favorite album of his was called Constrictor. Um, that one had Teenage Frankenstein and uh, The Man Behind the Mask, the Friday the 13th movie uh, uh, song. Uh, that was a trick bag was on there. What else was on Constrictor? Um I'm, I'm kind of drawing a blank right now, but there was there was some some really good no, that that whole album Constrictor by Alice Cooper is excellent. Um, here's uh, I think this is another Sub Rosa Studios or SRS Cinema. This is called Camp Murder. Now I do own this on Blu-ray. It was very limited. I believe it's sold out now. And this was another one that MVD Visual put out. Now this is the unrated edition of it. It's a shot on video movie, kind of like a, you know, like a Friday the 13th ripoff. The, um, the campers who get murdered one by one by a maniac in the woods. I, I like those movies. I, I actually like that movie. I have it on Blu-ray. I watched it. Here's another one called Grim Woods. See, so you can kind of tell the movies I like. I haven't watched this one yet, though. This one is from Wild Eye Releasing. And it looks like it's an anthology. You get three bone-chilling tales from the producers of All Hallows' Eve. I believe All Hallows' Eve was the first movie to feature Art the Clown, if I'm not mistaken, from the Terrifier movies, I believe. Hold on a minute. i got to double-check that. Yes, I, I was correct. All Hallows' Eve, if you look it up, if you just Google All Hallows' Eve and look at the cover, you'll see Art the Clown on the cover. Now, I'm not sure if they called him Art the Clown in that movie, but that's basically how the character started. It's exactly Art the Clown. So I'm looking forward to watching Grim Woods and uh, three stories that kind of 
combine in an anthology horror movie. I'll watch it. Um, the next one here is called Sweatshop. This is unrated. One Hammer, No Prisoners. Looks like it's kind of a brutal, kind of maybe like a torture prisoner type movie. Put up by a company called Odyssey Pictures. This is a movie from 2011. And you, you never see movies like this anymore. It's going to be hard to find these anymore unless you buy them online. Pretty soon stores are not going to carry any of these. This one's the Jackhammer Massacre. This one came out in 2004, Lion's Gate. It says, move over Leatherface, here comes the Jackhammer Massacre. The next one is called Easter Holocaust. Now you guys know me, if you watch my channel, I mention it quite a bit that I do enjoy the holiday themed horror movies. I try to get all of the seasons and all of the holidays. And this is Easter Holocaust. I have another one coming up that's Easter related, kind of, sort of. Um, this one I didn't really know anything about. It doesn't even have a studio on the back. I mean, this is really uh, low budget, probably very, very rare. Um, and again, when I say rare, it doesn't mean that these are worth big bucks. It just means that you may not see these very often. And over time, these will go up in price just because they're going to be hard to find. That's Easter Holocaust. Next one's called Backwoods. Again, I have quite a few of these. In this update, you're going to see the same kind of theme, Backwoods Killer. It says, Beware the Legend of the Hangman, Backwoods. I, I love these kind of movies. And even if these are bad, even if they're terrible, I'll still find enjoyment out of it. This is unrated from 2020. You can see some of the characters there. I love this kind of stuff, man. I, I'm not hard to please when it comes to watching movies. Next one's called Teacher Shortage. From the writer and director of Party Night and Stirring, and in which uh, I'm not familiar with either of those two movies. I never heard of Party Night or Stirring, but now we have Teacher Shortage. Some are dying to leave the profession. Look at that craziness. This was put up by a company called Bayview, exclusively distributed by Bayview. This one came out in 2020. Pretty rare stuff. We may never see them again. Uh, here's another Sub Rosa Studios, Garden Tool Massacre. I have this on VHS in a clamshell, but uh, now I have it on, on DVD too. It's uh, It looks like it has the old rental sticker on there. I love that. This movie, It's it says it's an ultra rare 1990s shot on video movie never before released in the usa and only a handful of copies direct from filmmaker exist anywhere includes director's commentary track the next one is called return to splatter farm hope you guys are taking notes because uh, some of these movies deserve to be grabbed, I think. Put these in your collection. Then again, some of you hardcore guys out there probably have these already. This is from Wild Eye Releasing. This is from the Polonia Brothers. This is from um, Anthony and Mark Polonia. They, they were, um, to me, they're legends in the shot on video genre of filmmaking these guys were making movies together since they were little like teenagers i think and uh I, one of them died now this one came out in 2020 i 
Mark, Mark is one of the brothers, and I believe Anthony might be his son, but there was another Polonia brother. Uh, I'm not going to pause it to look for it, but I believe one of the original Polonia brothers died. So Mark and his son now are, are doing the Polonia movies. But I think they do a really good job. You know, I mean, they, uh, they it's like shoestring budget, very, you know, very low quality, but they seem to always get the best out of their special effects. And even the acting is a little bit better, it seems like, in the Polonia Brothers movies. So the next one is called Draniac. I have this movie already, but I, I like this cover better. There was another cover that came out after this one. This one's a little harder to find, but I, I love that cover. Digital re, digitally remastered widescreen edition. And uh, this is just kind of a creature feature type, kind of a splatter flick. This one came out in 2008, unrated. That's a pretty good movie. I like that one. And Sinjinor, these these kind of make a good little double feature. This is kind of a splatter creature feature flick, and this is kind of a alien, kind of a generated monster type movie. It's called Sinjinor, and it stands for Synthesized Genetic Organism. Product of Science, Nightmare, and Hell. This was put out by Synapse Films. I think this may have a Blu-ray release, but I wanted the DVD special edition. This movie came out in 1990. This one's pretty good. I recommend this one. Both of these are, like I said, this would be a good double feature. These are both pretty good movies. And let me see here. I gotta check the time and see how long this is. I've been trying to get a lot of creature feature films and I've been looking for stuff that I've never seen before or never heard of before. And this fits into both of those categories. This one's called The Black Demon. It looks like it's some kind of a killer monster fish. And uh, the cover alone kind of pulled me in. It's rated R from 2023. The legend was real, the revenge is deadly. I think this is a Spanish horror movie. But it looks pretty good and I do love these kind of movies. So I had to grab the Black Demon. The next one up is uh, another Wild Eye releasing. This is called Creature from Cannibal Creek. It was what they eat. So this one came out in 2019. Looks like it's a, a Canadian movie. It's unrated. Look at some of these uh, these stills here of the creature. To me, that looks pretty cool. I mean, right there it says like a low budget version of Cannibal Holocaust. But um, I, I kind of dig these low budget movies like that when there's heart in them. You know what I mean? These These directors and actors, they put their heart into it. Just because the budget's low doesn't mean the, the movies are not that good. I always find something good in these movies. And the next one's called The Redwood Massacre Annihilation. Now, I think this one, I think there was a trilogy. Do I have the other one? Uh, I don't know if I have the, th I think there's a trilogy of these. I could be wrong about that. And I don't remember which one came first. Um... This one came out in 2014, and this one came out in 2020. I think there may be one in between, or there's one after, I'm, I'm not sure. Um, but the Redwood Massacre looks like it's kind of a, a killer scarecrow or some kind of a serial killer wearing a, uh, a burlap sack mask over his head. Gorehounds will love it, slasher film of the year. You can see that it's a, a very bloody movie. And uh, that one came out from Uncorked. Uh, that's This is a movie you may be able to find at like a Dollar Tree, but they're not a dollar anymore. I think I paid about six bucks for that now. If you can find it at a Dollar Tree, grab it. 
Um, and then this is called Redwood Massacre Annihilation. It's part of this little franchise. I just don't know how they fit together, if it's part two or three or what. But again, this one has uh, Danielle Harris. I always enjoy watching her. I think she's a little cutie. She's a tiny little thing. She's just a, a little sweetie, I think. Um, this one's also from Uncorked. So this may may have been at the Dollar Tree. If you see this, that label right there, Uncorked, oftentimes if you go to the Dollar Tree, those are the kind of movies that you'll find in the dollar bin or the dollar 25 bin now, whatever they are. Uh, you'll see a lot of uncorked movies in there. The next one's called Monster in the Closet. This is a trauma film. Another creature feature. Has John Carradine in it. I always enjoy him. Even though towards the end of his career, he kind of phoned it in and he was he was playing roles in movies like this at the end of his career. Uh, but I still love John Carradine. That whole uh, that whole family is pretty amazing. And um, this one came out in 1998. It looks like it's pretty blurry here. I'll try to see if I can focus in, because you do get some you get some bonus materials here. Look at the monster up there. lady in there washing her jugs <laughs> that's a pretty pretty cool cover though monster hand holding that brassiere and the next one is called a hard ride to hell this is the unrated and uncut i bought this one used on ebay came with a slip cover the slip cover is getting harder to find for this one and this one came out in 2009. It just, it looked cool to me, so I grabbed it. And we're gonna keep rolling here. The next one is, this one is a little bit pricey now. I think I paid $25 for this. I bought it from a Canadian seller. This is called Bunny Man. Um, this one, like I said, it's getting harder to find and it's getting pretty expensive. I've seen other sellers selling this around 40 to 50 bucks for this DVD. It's never been released on Blu-ray. For 25 bucks, I was a buyer. Anything more than that, I would have passed on it. That's just me. And supposedly this is based on a true story. Um, there are some videos here on YouTube where people visit the site of the so-called Bunny Man, and I guess there was, uh, I don't know if it's exactly the same in this movie, but the story of the Bunny Man that I heard was it was like, uh, there was a mental patient who was on a bus being transported to either a prison or a mental hospital or something like that. So the story goes that the the bus clonked out or, or stalled or whatever, and the mental patient escaped, and somehow he got a hold of a bunny costume, and that's what he put on. I, I may be getting the story wrong a little bit, but it was something like that. I don't know if they tried to recreate that in this movie, but I do know that they have a couple sequels to this, and they're pretty cheap. They're like 10 bucks on DVD. But this one here is the, this one's the rare one. It's hard to, getting harder to find that one. And the next one is, this is also very rare. This thing is going for, I think this is like on average, like 50 to 60 bucks for this DVD. It's never been released on Blu-ray. This thing came in perfect condition. Let's see, I'll take it out and I'll show you guys. It has the uh, chapter card on the inside. And uh, this one had a very low uh, print run when they made this movie. And so it's, it's getting harder and harder to find this one. And if you get it in really good condition, um, that's when you're going to have to pay more. This was on my radar for years. This was on my wish list, my want list for probably 
seven years, eight years, I finally got a hold of one that I thought was a good price. Um, I didn't pay 50 for it. It was less than that. But I mean, this, the disc, it's like a mirror. And the chapter card, a lot of them don't come with a chapter card anymore. But they're still asking like 50, 60, 70 bucks for it, even without the chapter card. So I'm not going to pull it out because I'm only using one hand. I don't want to wreck it. But this chapter card's very... It's, uh, it's very rare to find the chapter card and to get this in good condition like this. So I'm glad to have Rumpelstiltskin. This is kind of a... Um, like a grim fairy tale type story. If you want to, if you want to pause that and read it, you can. The movie came out in 1995. Um, I'm going to pause it really quick to put that plastic back on and we'll keep rolling. So the plastic is back on. And so these are probably the two rarest DVDs I picked up in the last month or so. They may not be great films, but they're, they're highly collectible. And these are both in like brand new condition. Glad to have those. Uh, the next one here is called Freak. I think this is another Wild Eye. It is. It's a great artwork. Wild Eye has really stepped it up, in my opinion. They're selling VHS on their site, too. I, I'm sure most of you guys are aware of that. I didn't know. I went and checked out their site recently, and I saw that they were selling VHS tapes on there. But this is the unrated edition of the movie. You get the director's commentary. It's a movie that came out in 2020. You can see the monster there. He looks like a freak, a freak of nature. It kind of reminds me of the burning Cropsy a little bit. I don't know if that's what he looks like in the movie, but that cover looked like it. So these next three, I was really happy to pick these up. Now this is another case of I had these on my wish list for years, but these things were going up in price. And some people are selling these for like 50 bucks a piece. I bought all three of these together in one lot for $20 plus four shipping. So $24, I got all three of these movies. They're in perfect condition. They all come with the chapter insert there. And what these are, these are trailer compilations, and this is called Monster Mania Volume 1. And they make these to look like these old monster magazines. And I think what it is, and each, each of the three had a, a host. One was Jack Palance, one was Elvira, and one was uh, Billy Moomy from Lost in Space. Let's see if it shows on the back here. I don't remember which was which. Okay, this one here is hosted by Jack Palance. There, you can see that. It also has a special guest appearance by Elvira, but I believe she hosts the second one by herself. So this is 62 minutes of monster movie trailers. These are really cool. I really, I'm really happy to grab these because I've been looking for these for a long time. I just didn't want to pay, you know, 30 a piece or 50 a piece. So to get all three together in one lot for 20, I snatched it up right away. I don't know if the seller knew what he had or if he just didn't care and he wanted to get rid of them, but that's volume one. So you get uh, rare footage, haunted home movies, howling werewolves, um, and this is highlights include dazzling clips from all time horror favorites, Nosferatu, The Fly, etc. Not gonna read all of it. Um, but really, really cool stuff. So it's basically, it's like a documentary uh, trailer compilation rolled into one 62-minute, uh, a lot of fun in one hour. And then this was volume two. This one's hosted by Elvira. Did that say Jack Palance at the top? It sure did, right there. So this one's hosted by Elvira. Volume two, you get an hour of the most fatal females ever to haunt the silver screen. These were all put out by Image Entertainment. And, oh, these have the little, oh, there we go. Has a chapter insert there. These are also hard to find. So if you do 
go looking for these, make sure they have the chapter insert. It just makes it that much more collectible. And the third and last one, as far as I know, they only did three. I can't find volume four anywhere, which makes me think they don't have one because I looked everywhere for it for years. Um, this one was hosted by Billy Moomy, who was Will Robinson in Lost in Space. Uh, this is volume three. An hour of gargantuan gorillas, deadly dinosaurs, and one-eyed giants and colossal beasts. Look at that. Right up my alley. And I it's right up a lot of your guys' alley. I know a lot of you guys love this stuff. And these came out in... Was it the early 2000s? Like... 2001, it looks like. Right... Their MMI is 2001. I think um, I first saw these years ago on, I think it was Captain Strange Life had these. And that's the first time I ever heard of them. And this was probably, probably 10 years ago on his channel. Or am I mistaking it for uh, Gratu Orloff? He might have had these. Or maybe they, I think maybe they both have these in their collection. But I know the first one I ever saw was Captain Strange Life, and it was probably 10 years ago, and I wrote it down, and I put it on my eBay wish list, and it's been there for years, and I finally pulled the trigger on these. So it feels really good to have these. I'll leave a link down below for uh, Captain Strange Life and Gratu Orloff. Those guys have great, uh, great shows, great channels here on YouTube, and I, I do recommend both of those guys. If you like the kind of videos that I put out, you know, uh, they're very similar, but they're more, I guess they're more kind of like pop culture, um, comic books and monster magazines. And I mean, they have really cool stuff, but he does show movies sometimes too. But they're really fun shows, I call them, channels. Um, the next one here is called Self Storage, starring Eric Roberts and Michael Berryman. This looks pretty horrifying. And this one came out in 2013 from Scream or Screen Media Dark Side, it's called. I just have a feeling this stuff is not going to be around very long. I mean, eBay is always going to be there, so we don't have to worry about that. People, there's always going to be like thrift shops and and eBay stuff like that. Uh, the next one here is called Camp Hideaway Massacre. So you can see, I, I really do have. A, uh, a liking for these uh, backwoods slasher movies. And this one's from oldies.com. It says it contains nudity, adult language, and graphic violence. Sold. Where do I sign up? It's a pretty cool cover. And the next one's called Dr. Chopper. I knew this one looked silly. I just I wanted to pop it in and uh, watch some foolishness why not this one came out in 2005 um five young college friends arrive at a secluded family cabin on a beautiful lake and what they think will be a weekend of partying and love making in the country becomes a night of unspeakable horror when they run afoul of three motorcycle mad women led by the sadistic knife-wielding Dr. Chopper. Come on. I'll watch that. And I'll laugh my ass off. So, okay, so these next... Let me see here. How did this go? I'm going to show you guys... Show you guys a little trick that I use sometimes, and I'm sure some of you guys do as well. Um... These were all in the same lot. And these were all, okay, this, I'll show you these in a minute. These were in a lot. I didn't want, I'll tell you, I'll explain it to you in a minute. This one was a pretty fun buy though. This is called Rodents. This is, just looks absolutely ridiculous. But I had to grab it. This was pretty cheap. I think this was like six or seven bucks. Perfect condition. If 
if you've ever seen the movie Ben or Willard, or if you like these kind of uh, creature feature films, uh, what was the one with Brad Dourif? Uh, the Stephen King movie. I'm drawing a blank. I just watched it not too long ago. Uh, Brad Dourif was a, a rat exterminator and they uncovered a huge nest. And not only was there a huge nest, there was a gargantuan rat monster. Uh, next one is, uh, this one is very, very rare. This is probably the rarest The Hobbit cartoon DVD you can buy. I've seen this go up to 100 bucks and more. This is the East West DVD. Um, this company went out of business, and I think they were releasing movies without the right they didn't, they didn't own the rights when they were releasing some of these movies, and they were doing a lot of animation. And I think they got shut down for doing that. But some of these were, were released and sold to the public, and I think they were supposed to be recalled. So if you can, and it comes in these, the skinny pack. But if you can find this one, it's very, very rare, and often it's very expensive. I, I think this, is, this goes for even 150 in some you know, some sellers. Now, just because somebody has it on eBay for 150 bucks or 200 bucks doesn't mean that's what it's worth. I got this for way, way, way less than that. Um, just do your homework, be patient. And if you, if there's something you're looking for, just be patient. That's the, the main thing. And be vigilant, keep watching. You know, I, I'm constantly window shopping. I'm constantly looking at different sites. Every day I'm looking for something. This is something I wanted for a while. I found a really good deal on it. I snatched it up. So I'm glad to have that one. I'm trying to figure out what I bought in that lot. Here's another one that's pretty rare. This one's becoming pricey now. This is up in like the $20, $30 range on, on DVD. It doesn't have a Blu-ray release, at least not that I'm aware of. Um, at least not yet anyway. This is called Bloody Bloody Bible Camp. And this one came out in 2012. And this one's going for a pretty penny. Um, next one's called Bloody Summer Camp. I think this is another, is this a Wild Eye? No. This is from a company called Gravitas Ventures. And this one came out in 2022. It's over two hours long. This one has Felissa Rose in it. She still looks great. She is still beautiful. What do you mean still? I mean, she's only probably, she's probably early 40s, I would say. So, I mean, she's, she's far from old, but she's very attractive. Uh, the next one, um, this is another one I wanted for a while. I have this on, on VHS, and I, I never knew that this had a DVD release, and this is called the J.R.R. Tolkien Origin of the Rings. This is an unauthorized tribute. So this was kind of a fan-made documentary style. Um, this was released a long time ago, though, in 2001, and I have this on VHS, and I still have it. Um, I didn't know that they had this on DVD, and I found it, and it was uh, in brand new, brand new and sealed. And I think I paid like ten bucks for it, which is a steal. This is really cool. This is a a really nice little kind of a documentary about the origin of the rings, and it has uh, some special features here and uh, interactive. Ma Let's see. This is when it when uh, DVD first came out, they would put some really weird things as special features. They would say. Full screen version was a special feature. Interactive menus were, everything had an interactive menu. That's not really a special feature. But uh, this is pretty cool. It's kind of like a behind the scenes and things you may not have known about uh, the Lord of the Rings and all that stuff from J.R.R. Tolkien. Um, I'm gonna pause it really quick. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm trying to remember what movie I was looking for. And I think it might've been this two pack of Scarecrow and Scarecrow Slayer. You get two movies in this double feature. And sometimes when I'm hunting for movies, I will look for a certain title. Like 
like for example, uh, say I'm looking for a uh, bloody summer camp and I'll go through and I'll see that they're selling it for 20. This guy has it for 23. This guy has it for 21. They're all pretty close. So then I'll type in bloody summer camp DVD lot. And sometimes you can find this movie that you're looking for and somebody else that's throwing in like three or four other movies with that one. Even though you're not really looking for these two movies, you're going to get this movie for about the same price singly. So this might be like $23, but you get like four movies with it all together instead of getting it for $21 by itself. So that's what I did with, with uh, I think it was this one. Because I was not looking for these movies. I think some of these movies I own already. This was uh, Toby Hooper's Toolbox Murders. And Fright Night 2, this is the remake. Uh, this is the sequel to the remake, and this was a rental exclusive, I guess. I was not looking for this, but I'll take it. I mean, it was almost free. I got the uh, Breeders with this cover. I don't really like this cover. There was a, a much better cover where it showed the whole monster. But, I mean, I'll take this. It was pretty much almost free. Um, pretty sure I have this one already. I may have this in a multi-pack though, so it's kind of cool to have this as the single edition carnivore um, creature feature monster movie. This one, I have no idea what it is. It came with it. Um, it's called The Vault, and it looks like it's maybe either ghosts or zombies. Um, it's put up by Full Moon, and it looks like it might be an urban horror movie because it looks like it has an all um, an all black cast but it looks pretty good I mean I'll, I'm going to give it a shot look at that uh, that gore there half of that guy's head's missing so it looks like it may be promising um, this came out in 2000 so it may be pretty good uh, everybody has this movie I have this movie probably 10 times in different formats I have VHS a couple different DVDs a couple Blu-rays 4K um, but this is definitely a classic, and this is one that scared the, scared the bejesus out of me when I was a kid. The, the scariest part of this movie to me was that priest that was in the room, and all the flies kept or all the flies appeared, and his hands were getting smashed in that windowsill. That freaked me out, man. This came out probably in like 1980, 81, 79, actually. I was probably. The first time I ever saw this, I was probably seven, eight years old. And yeah, that scared the crap out of me. Psycho 2, I've never owned this DVD, but I didn't buy this looking for it. But this is a pretty nice addition. I'm glad to have this. This was thrown in as a freebie. And then the last one was also part of a, a lot. And this was the Exorcist 3. It's the snapper case. Um, I'm not a big fan of the snapper cases. I, I really don't care much for them. Uh, but since this was pretty much a throw-in or a freebie, uh, I'll take it. So uh, so that is it for the horror DVDs. I want to show you guys a, a pretty cool record that I picked up from my uh, friend of the channel here. Um, River City Rebels, pop culture baby. Um, the lead singer, Dan O'Day, he goes by, his nickname is The Big Bopper. He has a YouTube channel. Uh, I'm going to link it down below so you guys can go show him some love. But there's Dan right there, Bopper. And if you look at the top up here, I got lucky and I got his signature on this record. I think the first, I can't remember exactly, it was either the first 50 that sold or the first 100. I, I don't remember, but I was lucky. I think I got in at the end and I got a, a signed copy. But this is his band. Uh, they're they're excellent. They have really good music. You can see all the boys there in the band. And this this is a, a seven inch record. I ordered it from a company called Screaming Crow Records. They threw in a, the sticker for me for the order, which I'm sure they'll do for you too. They threw in this little um, plastic sleeve, which I appreciate because I like to keep my stuff pristine. I'm going to pause it. There was a, I think there was three or four different colors of vinyl that you can get this uh, seven inch in and i think i got the it was like a teal let's check it out so it's not teal it's uh emerald or green i don't remember exactly 
um, what they called it, but I really, I think that looks great. That record is freaking awesome. Um, you get, uh, unless you're white, abuse myself. Uh, I'm trying to think of Dan's channel name. He used to be the Rebel Gaming Club, and then he changed it. So, but I'll find it and I'll link it below. And I definitely recommend you go check out uh, the Boppers channel. He's got kind of a low key, kind of like uh, he I mean, he has a huge collection of just about everything. But he's kind of he's kind of a laid back, chill dude. It's kind of fun to just go and watch, you know, and listen to the things that he picked up. He's a great dude. He has a great collection. And I'd like to see him get way more subscribers. He he deserves way more. And then on this side, you get this phone, man. Pop culture baby and rock across. And again, there's the there's the boys. And great music. I don't think I can play any for you because I don't have permission to do so. Uh, I'm not sure if they have, if Dan um, uploaded any of his videos or his music here on YouTube, but you can try to punch it in and just type in River City Rebels. And I think he had some live action, um, live action. He had some um, footage of himself, his band in concert. I remember seeing those on his channel. So there's a good chance that you'll be able to see those. Just type in River, River City Rebels and you'll be able to see the bopper up on the mic and, and and listen to the band jam out it's good stuff it's really really good stuff so i'm going to put this record back i got a little bit more to show you guys and then we're going to wrap up this long video and don't forget to go over to screaming crow records and look for river city rebels um so some of you guys may be impressed with this little pile some of you may not care uh but this kind of goes back to my childhood and some of the things that I grew up on and just kind of reminiscing and thinking about physical media dying. I, I wanted to pick up stuff. Um, I hope I'm just panicking. I hope that this is just going to be something that kind of blows over and we're going to say in a couple of years, remember when we all thought physical media was dying? Well, now everybody, you know, hopefully that's the case. Um, oh, I forgot. I got a check disc here too from 101 Films. Uh, they sent me uh, Mansion of the Doomed, limited edition. So I'm going to check that out. I'll let you guys know how that looks. Uh, Tim Scaping over at 101 Films. Thank you, Tim. If, I don't even know if you watch or not, man. But uh, every once in a while, Tim will send me an email, ask me if I want a um, screener copy of uh, whatever movie they have for that time. So anyway, I'm, I'm kind of rambling here, but I just want to get through this portion here. I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about this. Some of you guys might think I'm nuts. I really don't care. I love this stuff right here. This is all part of my childhood. And Amazon, I think they still have a really good deal going. These are the PBS three disc sets. Now these are 30 classic episodes. You get 30 full episodes on here. I think it's either three or four discs from 79 to 2001. And these are no, normally going for 20 bucks. And Amazon has a deal, $8 a piece for these. And uh, let me see if it has, so it is four discs here. Hold on a second. It's 14 and a half hours on four discs of your childhood. Um, I, I don't care if you guys laugh at me about that. I like this stuff. I just want to have that in my collection. That was uh, 79 through 2001. This one is um, 79 through 2000. Now, none of the episodes ever repeat, so these are all unique episodes. This is from the Would You Be Mine collection. This is from the It's a Beautiful Day collection. And same thing here. You get 14 and a half hours on four discs, eight bucks sealed. I mean, that's to me, that's a steal. They only had four of these. I got all four. This is called the Kindness Collection, 30 episodes, 79 to 1991. I mean, if you guys can tell me a, a, a better human who ever lived on this earth, I would love to hear it because my my answer is going to be Mr. Fred Rogers. Um, here you get 14 hours on four discs. And these are some of the older ones. These are the ones that well, I was a kid during that time. And then 
this one's called Mr. Rogers uh, Meets New Friends, and this is 79 through 2000. And uh, you can see him there with Bill Nye, the science guy, uh, Lynn Swan, famous uh, receiver, wide receiver. Uh, just, I mean, the guy did so much good for so many people. This is 14 hours on four discs. Um, and so these were new to my collection over the past month, and it kind of ties in with these, which I, I purchased like uh, probably a year ago or so. These are the old school Sesame Street. So this is volume three, which was 79 to 84. Same thing. These are all part of my childhood, so I wanted to grab these. Here's old school number two, uh, 74 to 79, and old school one. Volume 1, 69 to 74. So you got volume 1, 2, 3, and then you have four volumes of Mr. Rogers. If I ever have grandkids, you know what they're going to be watching. I have all this stuff for them to watch. Hell, I might even have another baby. You never know. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm joking. I'm joking. I hope. I mean, I could, but... Uh, anyway, okay, so for... These ladies are knocked out again. Miss Hannah, Hanny, Hanny, Hannah. Oh, Heidi's awake. For Hanny and Heidi, I'm your boy, Toddy Walnuts. I'm gonna blow these candles out. I'm gonna put this stuff away. Hope you enjoyed the, the video. Hope I gave you guys some suggestions. Um, if you've seen any of these rare, obscure, weird movies, uh, leave a comment. And maybe I gave you some suggestions about these Italian movies. Uh, go check out um, Amazon and you can find that uh, that deal. I can't remember if it was 80 or 90 bucks. Either way, it was way less than what you can get on, on eBay for those Danza Macabro Volume 2. All right, I'm, I'm rambling here, so I'm going to cut it off. Have a great night, guys. Have a great weekend. I have no idea when I'm going to upload another video. I'm out of ideas. And now I have to wait to let little things trickle in before I get another update video. So it may be another month or two before I see you guys. So be good, be safe, and I'll miss you guys. Take care. Later.